Hey everybody, Tag Bishop here. Um, it's Monday night, 12.01. Oh, it just went off. Well, it's just Tuesday morning now, 12.01. Um, the Tactical Idol contest is now officially over. And I thought it would be fun if um, you see me um, when Nuts of Fancy calls and, and declares me the winner, I thought it would be fun if um, you know we get that on videotape. You know, so I just run some tape here. Um, I did want to. Um, I'll do a video while I'm waiting. While we're waiting. Um, I've been wanting to do this video anyway. This is, this is going to be a video about uh, gun confiscation and how they're going to get your gun sooner or later. All rumors are more of a warning than a rumor. You know, if your wife or girlfriend, if you hear she's cheating on somebody, it's just a warning. You know, they're either going to do it or they're well on their way. So, I'm just assuming that uh, we're not going to have guns in the future. So, I've put together a few things here that uh, can improvise as weapons. And also, well, they're mainly tools, but they can improvise as weapons. First thing would be a uh, tire repair kit for a tractor trailer tire. These are a little heavier duty than the car tire when you get... And, uh, you know, you get a couple of these, man, you can really have some fun, you know, if you get in a street fight, box on one of these. Because they're usually kind of dirty, too, you know, and uh, you stick somebody with one of these, even if they uh, don't bleed out immediately, you know, they're going to get a really bad infection. Now, another thing you can do is, uh, okay, right here, this is something that I like axes. Um, my grandmother was a uh, full-blooded Indian and this kind of runs in my family in my blood. Uh, I kind of prefer throwing weapons and knives for some reason. I just really like it. But um, you take three of these or four of these. You need you need four I say. Two to throw to close the distance. You got to close the distance. You know if you got a guy 20, you know, the 21 foot rule in uh, getting your weapon out, being able to fire it effectively, is 21, 21 foot rule. Well, that goes up to, you know, even a greater, say 40 foot, if you start throwing axes. You can, he's going to flinch if you throw this, and, you know, you want to make sure you get the right size axe. The way I test out there, see if I got a right size axe, and you go to the hardware store, pick up the axe. You lay in the floor, hold it arm lengths away, and if you can drop it in your face without any fear, it's not heavy enough. Get one that you will not drop in your face. And another weapon I had was uh, a radiator belt. These are one of my favorites. You know, if you ain't been whooping anybody, unless you whoop them with a radiator. Well, not a radiator fan, but just a just a fan belt. And uh, gotta be nuts or fancy. Hello, Walid. Marhaba. Give hala. La. La, dit meneer kies mij met de garen. No, no, Charmuto. Charmuto, tell a hastizi. Tell a dat dus maar Charmuto, tell da hastizi. La, la. Assalamu alaikum. Wasn't him. 
Anyway, here's another tool. This is pretty sharp on its own, or you can sharpen it up if you want to. And like I say, it's going to be nice and a little surface rust there laying around the trunk of the car. But uh, you can use this end or use this end to bludgeon, stab. You know, another very, very effective weapon. And, uh, oh, this is my favorite. Now, I've, I've uh, done a lot of checking on the uh, rural motor carriers. Federal motor carrier regulations, and they have regulations to get guns, rifles, shotguns. Have regulations against carrying knives in the trucks, but I'm not seeing one thing that says you can't carry a nail bat in the in the truck. So this is what I started carrying with me when I go to work. You know, I got this right in right beside me in the seat. If I need it, boom, I'm ready to go. Um, my nephew said that you couldn't have something like this because it was a lethal weapon, but you don't have to go lethal with this. You, know, you don't have to, you know, I'm not really a head hunter anyway. You know, shoot them in the butt with this and, you know, hit them in the, in the genitals or something like that. You know, and this also works well if you have a, an enemy that you don't really want to confront. You know, you go around his car start swinging this, he's going to have at least nine to ten nail holes in his tires every time you make a, a good connection with this. So, this is, uh, this is my preferred weapon at this time. Hold on, hold the phone. Hello? Nuts, what's up? Yeah. Oh, you got the you got the count in already? He did. Hmm. Okay. All right. He won by a landslide. I got ten votes. So I only had ten of my subscribers. It's got to be wrong. Okay. Thanks for calling.